What are the pros and cons of being an individual contributor? Visa is a manager in software companies. The dichotomy between an individual contributor, IC, and a manager in tech isn't just a career crossroads. It's a fundamentally different way of approaching your work and measuring success. Pros of being an individual contributor. Autonomy and expertise. As an IC, your days are oftentimes spent deep in code, algorithm challenges, and system architecture. You're the expert, and you keep getting better with each problem solved. Technical mastery. You have the chance to become a techno wizard in your domain. In places like Portland, where tech communities are tight-knit, being a guru in, say, Python or Ruby can make you quite in demand. Merit-based impact. Your code speaks for you. If you commit high-quality updates to the Git repository that save the day, your work is visible. It's a meritocracy of commits. Work-life balance. Once your code is in, unless there's an outage that falls within your bailiwick, you're often free to skip off to enjoy the culinary delights and craft brews of the Pacific Northwest. Cons of being an individual contributor. Limited influence. Your ability to steer the company's direction is often confined to technical decision-making. You wield the keyboard, not the steering wheel. Potentially capped career ladder. Climbing the career ladder as an IC often means evolving into higher technical roles, but the manager track can appear to have a quicker rise to the upper echelons. Recognition. Mostly for failures. When things go south, fingers might point at the last person who pushed code. You're in the trenches, for better or worse. Pros of being a manager. Broader impact. As a manager, your work affects not just a product, but people. Your efforts multiply through your team. Leadership and strategy. You're involved in roadmap discussions and you help chart the course. Your role involves shaping the what and the why, not just the how. Career advancement. The management ladder often leads to higher positions up the company chain, which can mean more influence on company affairs. And yes, often more pay. Building culture and teams. You directly affect company culture and the development of your team. There's fulfillment in mentoring others and watching them grow. Cons of being a manager. Less technical. You may find less time for hands-on coding as you're absorbed in meetings, planning, and people management. Some love it. Some miss the rush of fixing a bug at 2 a.m. People challenges. People aren't code. They don't always compile cleanly. Conflict management and performance evaluations can introduce stress foreign to pure code warriors. Always on call. Your team's problems are your problems. If they're burning the midnight oil wrestling with Kubernetes, expect your phone to be a buzz. Risk of disconnect. This is subtle but significant. Managers can become removed from the day-to-day -day technology changes and lose touch with the skills that got them promoted in the first place. Whether you stroll through the Pearl District or sit down to strategize your team's next sprint, the essence of the IC versus manager debate in software companies is about personal fulfillment. Do you revel in the idea of your work being the key cog in a well-oiled machine, or does your passion lie in orchestrating the whole operation? Portland's rain might make for frequent introspective coffee shop stays, perfect for pondering your place in the tech ecosystem. Choose wisely. Choose what brings you joy.